Hey, what's up, people? I'm making this video to show uh, an answer to a lot of the questions my viewers have had about the car under the car cover next to my Buick. Uh, it stirred up a lot of curiosity to what car is there, and today I've uncovered it for the purpose of showing uh, what it is. So if you've been wondering, you're about to find out. It is, I should have made a drum roll, a Cadillac. And it's a uh, Cadillac DeVille. Hardly has any miles on it because I only use it once in a long while. There's the DeVille name right there. And it is all original. It's fully loaded. Fully loaded. And I don't have any aftermarket things on the car. I've kept it all original. And I use it. It's my Sunday car, basically. So, today being Sunday, I uncovered it. And I'm going to be driving it in a little bit. Go do a couple of uh, errands around town. That's the new version of the Cadillac Crest. Actually, let's go around this way. And inside the glove compartment find uh, a little cleaning rag. This actually came with a car. I guess that's a microfiber towel they call it or something like that. And I got this car brand new from the Cadillac dealership uh, here in Santa Rosa. And I'm the original owner of the car. And it has OnStar. And it came with this neat disc. It says OnStar there. And it has XM radio. I never put these stickers on. I don't like all those extra things on my windows and stuff. There's the OnStar controls there. You can see that. It has uh, heated and air-conditioned seats. Right there. Those light up nice and blue at night red and blue has memory controls uh, when I come into the car um, if somebody else for example which nobody else drives this car except me but um, if all the mirrors were moved the uh, actually the rear view mirror the rear view mirror and uh, the side mirrors the steering wheel the seats the radio controls the temperature all of that is adjusted to my liking and uh, it's done automatically when I put the key in the ignition and the other way it can be done is by pressing either driver 1 or driver 2 and if you don't want to control it by that and have an automatic then you press that exit button right there uh, the third button on the top and when the key goes in the ignition then all of those are set so that's a little bit of what's inside the car So I hope you enjoyed looking at one of my other vehicles and you'll be able to see the others in a future video. Have a good night.